Hey guys, so it's been taking me a little bit longer to get my videos together. It doesn't matter. I'm doing this for free out of the love of food. But let me tell you something. I watched some of the Poncho Crime videos on YouTube and I feel like mine is a necessary addition. This is the egg-free Poncho Crime video. Now, if you can remember my business intimate catering because you know me personally, you might even remember that back in the day your girl used to make punch the creme and sell it. I found this today when I was looking for my old recipe. I'm not using my old recipe though today. You're going to be helping me formulate a new one. I'm not making a lot of punch the creme because personally I'm lactose intolerant. So I'm going to revisit the recipe a bit later on. Uh, you can do like coconut milk. Here, there's all kind of different options that you can do. But I'm making the traditional one because my first ever sister-in-law from way back when was harassing me for one story time story time for about three years and i feel guilty i got to make the girl she punch your creme right it's for, it's for her christmas i don't celebrate christmas so i don't really make it know that i don't sell it right but i can make the girl she punched the creme so for all of you who like these recipes and things are very seasonal for you remember you do not have to get tied into any particular season to do something you can do something where you want to do something so today we make him punch a creamer as we call it in the song right drink a rum and a punch of creamer all right good so the first thing that i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be putting two cups of water into this pot way because they got ingredient that i want to use right that's a difficult ingredient to extract flavor from. And what is that? Bay leaf. I'm gonna put a couple of bay leaves in here. I make myself some bay leaf tea. I might drink some when I done do this here, right? And I'm gonna put this to simmer just until the flavor from the bay leaf goes into the water. See here in the corner, I made pizza for the kids today. I can do a pizza video for y'all at some point too because I feel like if I'm really good at pizza and y'all should get a recipe from me. But basically, I turn on my stove here, right? And we're gonna leave this on till it starts to boil. Bar this cover. Cover that and let it come to a boil. All right, so I got an empty brown bottle here. That's one of the ingredients. <laughs> Just kidding. I got a brown bottle that ain't empty here. This is some brown sugar um, syrup, right? That I made simple syrup, but with brown sugar. This is some vanilla essence, so you could use actual vanilla. I've got two cinnamon sticks. Since I've got sticks, I'm gonna throw these in with the um, bay leaf. I've got some clove, and I've got some cold nutmeg. All right, so let's prepare the spices first. I also have some canned condensed milk and I also have, I have used the Pine Hill evaporated milk before but I find the rum is make it full. I don't know why it still tastes good but I'm going to be using Carnation evaporated milk today. Carnation evaporated milk. All right, so I'm going to be mixing this now in a pot because it, my big bowl is preoccupied. And the first thing I'm doing here, I get him a nutmeg and I just grate it, right? And spices usually get put in things to taste. So I'm going to tell you, too much nutmeg is made higher. So we're going to put about, I don't know how much that is. I would say this uh, like a rough little teaspoon of nutmeg in there. That should be good. Smells lovely. All right, so we're smelling good with the nutmeg already. And now I'm gonna add some clove. The clove, you only want about a half teaspoon. Clove is a very strong spice. It's good for you. It can numb out your teeth so that if you got a bad tooth or whatever, you can put it, you can bite the clove or you can bite clove oil. It has a lot of um, health benefits. All of these, uh, all of these spices and herbs and natural things always come with great benefits. So hopefully this will add some health benefits as well to my punch the friend. All right, and the next one that I have, some cinnamon. Now the cinnamon you could be more generous with. So I'm gonna put about a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons of cinnamon. 
to this, we're going to be adding our condensed milk. As I told you, I'm not making a lot, so I'm going to be using half of the can or so. This can is um, 397 grams, so about 200 grams of the condensed milk is what we're using. And this is 330, so this would take up about two thirds of this to get another 200 grams. I'm just gonna do it from play by ear, but 200 grams. Actually, you know what? Let me be a proper chef and let me measure it for you. One minute. Okay, so we're gonna do the same amount of condensed milk as the evaporated milk, so about 200 milliliters again. This messed me up. This messed me up. All right, so I've been changing my mind while the recipe is going, so we're gonna do a bit of editing for you guys, but we're gonna be using the whole can of condensed milk, and I've got 200 milliliters of evaporated milk as well going in there. And this is the carnation evaporated milk that I use. And what I can do now, I just, condensed milk is very viscous. I see the Trinidadian people keep putting egg in the punch de creme, and I'm trying to figure out why. I always know punch de creme was different from egg now, but you see they call theirs punch de creme, and we call it one punch of creme or punch of crema, right? And uh, even when I wrote it here, I had punch of creme. I didn't have no de, right? So all of them slightly different in their own way. But the point being that, I like the egg free version because then people who don't eat eggs can have it. And another thing I want to tell you all here, get creative. You don't want to use rum, put a little brandy or a little whiskey and make a different cream drink. People but they're spending all this money on Baileys. Why you don't try making your own Baileys, a little bit of chocolate, a slight touch, and some um, whiskey and see how it comes out. Ramping out and trying to get all the condensed milk out of here. So we just got a whisk here and I'm whisking together the spices with that condensed, that evap, condensed, 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 kill everybody. And I'm going to be adding some vanilla to this. I would say there's about two teaspoons of vanilla extract, essence, but you can use extract. There's all the rest of the condensed milk that I um, had drained out. And now do y'all remember the um, two cups of liquid that I took at the beginning? The two cups of liquid, they boil up, so I'll show you how it looks. All right, so here we got our cinnamon sticks and our bay leaf. How did it smell, kids? Nice. Smell good, man. It make your house smell like you got a candle burning. Anyway, um, so we're gonna take some of this now and put it into our punch de creme. So, so that I can measure it. This is just the bay leaf and cinnamon water. I'm gonna put one cup of that inside of this um, measuring cup. And I'm just using it to get all the rest of the condensed milk out of the can. You know, why waste, right? Waste not want, not right? I sure I want. I sure some want to do this. I even hear the oldest used to use cans as cups, right? So I sure some want to do this already, where you just put a little water in that condensed milk can and mix it up and get a little last little energy condensed milk. So you know what I'm doing here, right? So we're just gonna pour that in, and I'm going to whisk that into the existing liquid. So that was just one cup. So far, of this bay leaf water, I want to be able to measure it so that other people be able to do it. And I had used about eight or so standard normal Asian bay leaves that were dry, right? And two big cinnamon sticks with well, a big note that was small then. So in all, 
I'm gonna make it a cup and a half of water that I'm adding. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to make this a half cup. All right, so we've got our mixture here. I tasted it with my little spoon here. It's rich and it's sweet because of the condensed milk. Now, depending on how you want this to be, you could leave this how it is and then you could just add rum and done with that because it's gonna be good over ice. But I believe that you can stretch this a little bit more. So I'll show you how to do that. So first we're gonna add our rum. One cup of brown rum going in here. Ooh, the potency, the potency. I feel like my little whisk just to get. Let me rinse this and taste again. That tastes good. That tastes good. Now what we're gonna do with it now, as I said, it can go a little further. So what I'm gonna do, just so it can go a little further, another half cup of rum going in here. Half cup of my brown sugar syrup. You can use simple syrup if that's what you have. And why you want it to be sweet is because once the ice and everything, it's gonna water it down. So you want it to be sweet. So a half cup of the brown sugar syrup. Let me see how it's looking. Still looking lovely. And a half cup more of water. Now by the time that I I got three quarter cups of water, so I'm gonna put all. By the time that I posted this recipe, I would have typed it out for you guys. But here we have it, the finished poncho creme. Of course, we will add eggs to this and so on because they're trying to get it thick and so on. But remember, everybody don't want eggs like I keep saying, right? And that also, egg is a step that makes it take more time. Look at how fast and easy this was. So this is a fast, easy, full poof, full poof, full <laughs> poof, punch your creme recipe. All right. Let me taste it for the last here. That is nice. And when you finish making it, if you want to add more sweetness, whatever you want to do to tweak it to yourself, that's your business. You know what's a cool idea? Putting a pinch of salt in your ice, right? When you get your ice cubes and thing, right? Salt does preserve ice. Put a little salt on the actual ice cubes. Then when you put it in, it will add flavor to the punch of cream. Another thing you can do, swap out the spices like I was saying and instead use a little cocoa or add the spices and a little cocoa and get a chocolate punch of cream. I watched something with a man this morning he making sour salt, pumpkin, all sorts of flavors that ain't really my thing but probably tastes good. Think about being creative, think outside the box and make it. So now the last step to get it from here into here in this round bottle. So we've got our empty rum bottle here. So I've got my empty rum bottle here. It had the rum in it, so it already sterilized, right? I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just gently pour on one side of the funnel. Don't let it go in the middle, keep it to one side. And that will stop it from overflowing or doing any foolishness. Cover she don't know. 
and you've got a lovely lovely puncture cream a great gift to give a friend like I'm going to do but I just want you to try this recipe I hope you see how easy it was and how you get those good good spices in there but infusing that bay leaf and so on this is not just a little inner spice this is proper 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 full spectrum of Bajan goodness warm and fuzzy puncture cream was two 750 milliliter bottles of um, punch the cram and the amount would also be what you would say a liter and a half which is at least six big cups so that can probably serve about 12 persons and I have this something from my childhood my dad used to drink out of these not gay glasses that could spin you remember this? anybody who remembers would know what I'm talking about so I just wanted to show you. Take care, love from Chef Gun.